Hello, everyone. Hello. You all right? Vroom. Vroom. Uh, a product that I can't find a YouTube video on. I can't find any checklists on. Well, I can find a checklist. Um, but yeah, so this is a 1991 Formula One set. You don't see many different Formula One sets outside of tops and all the modern ones that come out. Um, I just bought this because it was cheap. It's Formula One. And, and I love it. To be honest, because there's not a single YouTube video on it. Uh, no, I try and <laughs> try and be the first one. So uh, the. I can't say how many packs are in a box, I can't say how many cards are in a pack, um, but this is a very cheap box, uh, you're basically looking to find, to put a base set together. Uh, the only notable rookie in here is Mika Hakkinen for Lotus, a uh, double world champion with McLaren in the late 90s, and then uh, any Ayrton Senna cards for my collection really, so we're just going to crack into this. Get it open. Give the playmat a new, a new playmat a debut, yep. Mansell chasing Senna at Monaco. I think you could potentially create a complete the base set out of this box. You'd like to hope so. Feeling. You'd like to hope so. I'm I'm currently looking for a new, apart from Paldean Fates for Pokemon, I don't actually have any sets on the go. Oh. So it'd be nice to pick one up and start one. Right, so 1991, these... 1991. 1991. These packs are older than all three of us. Um, they are. There are so many packs in here. This, this might be a long video. Go and get yourself a drink. Get yourself comfortable. <laughs> There are a lot of packs Jeez. in here. Get your Udi on. Oh my oh, god. Well, Jesus. That that's, is a lot of packs. So that, that is, is that the box empty. That's half. That is half, yeah. So if you just count that. Is that 18? I think there's 18. So, 36 packs, so it's like a Pokemon booster box then. So, we can, Jesus. we'll put that on the intro screen now that we know. Uh, 10 cards per pack, so teams, drivers, superstars, legends, tracks, and much more randomly packed. So, there's no inserts, there's no parallels, it's just good old fashioned base. Mm -hmm. So, there's 365. Yeah, <laughs> and I can already see a very decent driver on the back. So let's start this. So this is the base card setup. So I imagine they'll have um, cars on their own, drivers, tracks, as we just saw in there. So we've got a Brabham, a Gerhard Berger. Berger? Do you know what? I like the black border. They're nice, aren't yeah. they? They, they, oh, they smell old. Yeah, they do smell like my hand does. Ooh. At time of recording, these are, quick maths, 20. No. 30, 30, 33 years old. 33 years old, my god. 91? Yeah. Yeah, yeah 91. Like Eric Comas. Gianni Morbidelli. This is going to be still an education for me because I won't know all of these drivers. Mm -hmm. Ferrari 642. Jerky Javi Leto. <laughs> Eric Bernard. Alain Prost. Oi, oi. So go. he was at Renault. Um, whether that's a... Oh my god, these cars are at this car. Look at the. No way. So we have a Senna. But look at that damage. That is what you always risk with opening older products. But I mean, I would say sleeve it. But, I would sleeve it. Yeah. Just because it's Senna. All right, well, we have more chance. Luckily, we have 36 packs. So we have more chances of. Uh... That is the worst image of Senna I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it's an interesting one. Yeah, it's an interesting one. Classic 1990 image, that is. Right, let's hope. They come out very slow. <laughs> let's hope we can uh, get some better condition cards here. A seller, the Benetton. A seller or Senna? A seller ah. as a team. There's a Senna card. <laughs> Cracking beer. In his JPS Lotus. That is my favourite Formula One car he drove. Black and gold JPS Lotus. That's in a lot cleaner condition this time. Very nice. I do like these. It's um, a nice card. I just hope we can get a non-shafted base card set out of it. <laughs> Hungary. No. no. Japan. So that picture, I'll give you a little education, boys. So that is Pross. The, the viewers cannot see what's going on. No, okay. Well, I'll, I'll just show you then. <laughs> yeah, so you've got, the, you got the McLaren and Ferrari at the, the, at the front. So you've got Senna and Prost. Uh, they were both equal on points going into this race. And basically... Um, Senna qualified first, but there was a disadvantage of qualifying first on this track as a dirty side of the track. And he went and complained and said, look, I'm in first, but I've got the disadvantage. And no one did anything. 
quite rightly so. It's quite like a little moaning thing. So, um, yeah, obviously they started. Frost was in second. He went straight in front of him. And Senna just took him out. <laughs> oh my God. And oh. basically Senna won the title. And that was it. Well, so basically, he's a uh, Verstappen of the day. Well, no, because that was Ooh. that was revenge from the year before, uh, where Prost did the same thing, pretty much. There you go. San Marino and another Ayrton Senna card that isn't shafted, which is nice. Smashing. So get on sleeved up. If you haven't guessed it yet and you're new to the channel, find like Senna. It's almost like he's got a, a tattoo, tattoo of him. <laughs> so they have got, it looks like, Car, uh, drivers and tracks as a combination. So that's Patrese in the Williams uh, in Brazil. And then you've got Prost in the Ferrari in the USA. And then a Judd, a Judd engine. So I will start scrolling through these a bit quicker, otherwise we will be here forever. You go enjoy, mate, you know. It's all about enjoyment. You've got to take that uh, into perspective. This is what we enjoy doing. Definitely. So if you want to take your time, take your ruddy well time. If you like F1 and many other different types of trading cards please drop us a like and subscribe it really does help us out so mansell piero ferrari i do like the retro feel of these cards jordan mm. pedro matos chavez thierry bootson yeah, another right. center card so plenty of, uh, i think there's a center insert set so we can finish that off that'd be cool Very nice. prost and mansell my dad's always said um, keep a cheeky Ayrton and Senna in cash in, in case you ever need it in a medium ten. Always keep a tenner on you kids. Your dad does enjoy Cotney Rahman's slang, doesn't he? Okay, another Senna card. Nice. Never know when you might need it. And another Senna card. There's a, quite a lot of these actually. Do you want to just stop leaving them? No, or? leave them all because they'll all go in my. Uh... Hopefully, we can pull enough doubles. <laughs> We've got Prost. Senna and Berger, that's, a, that's just a combo one. I'll leave that in the set. Patrese and Prost. There are a lot of different. Nice one of Monaco there. Oh, look at that. Senna and Monaco. Going to run out of sleeves you. fairly soon. Leighton oh, House. And a Leighton House. We've got loads upstairs. Not a very um, punchy team name, is it? Leighton House. Leighton House. Leighton House. That's the name of the team. That was the name of the team. What's the team name now? If it's still mm. going. Uh, I can't remember what Leighton House ended up being. Because there's some of them that track all the way back to... So Mercedes now is what was Tyrrell back in the day. Um, very knowledgeable. Yeah. Like well, he's got a massive brain. Massive. massive. I mean, a Meat massive head. head. Sorry. Prost, another Senna. Beautiful. Another Prost. Plenty of my favourite drivers in these. PK. Murdering. Silverstone. Murdering. San Marino. That's a duplicate already. Hockenheim. PK, an absolute racist nowadays. He's not the nicest bloke. No? No. What a bit what of chunk. Chunk. Great driver. Um, but like Verstappen, an absolute asshole. <gasps> is that word allowed? It is now. Only to describe them two. Well. That's the one word. PG. Yep. Hey, it wasn't that bad of a swear. I mean... No, no. You could have viewed what credits. <laughs> Lots of cars in this one. In an F1. <laughs> in an F1. <laughs> Lots of car only ones. That yeah. was a difficult one. Nicola Larini. So we only seem to have had one pack where, don't get me wrong, the cards aren't in the greatest shape and you can see there's loads of uh, dust dust coming off them. In dust. dust. These are nearly 35 years old. Oh, really? Yeah. No. It's not very often we open stuff that's older than us. No. I mean, that's the, normally stay sealed. You see, I haven't heard of a lot of these drivers. Tarquini. There we go. Right. Hacken and Rookie. First one. Bosh. So, I actually have one of these. Whether this one's cleaner or not, I don't know. What's his first name? Mika. Mika Hacken. Is like he from the, Finland? He is from Finland, yes. What a guess. Whoa. Now, uh, did he win any titles? Double world champion. 98 and 99 in a McLaren. Uh, and he beat Michael Schumacher both years. Wow. So he's just heavily underrated. I only remember that because his name's similar to Kimi Raikkonen. Exactly. Finnish, he is Finnish, yeah. 
Another Finnish world champion. Look at them. Look at me. I don't have anyone at any F1, any any F1, yeah. F1 knowledge. Does he still race? Hakkinen? No, Reichman. Uh, no, retired very recently. Come on. My cousin would be proud. He loves his F1. Does he? Yeah. So does your best friend. Yeah. <laughs> He's into his Moto GP as well. Oh, yeah. Bikes. John Lacey and a Delara. He might be watching, actually. Ashley. This, yeah, you like this one. Hello. Just give him a shout out. AJ. So, Hackett. Love and direct. <laughs> AJ Tracy. Say that, I've got a cousin called AJ and a cousin called Tracy. You are. So, I think Hacken and Rookies, because he's not the most, you know, well, I like him, but I don't think he's massively thought of, which is a shame. They're about five or six pounds, so let's see how many we can find. This is an engine pack. Yeah, it's an engine pack. So we've got a Lamborghini, a Porsche, and an Ilmore. Keke Rosberg. Any relation to Nico? Yes, his dad. Come on! Bosh! Bosh! You've been doing some homework? No. No. <laughs> I'm so, just, just going homework. by what you've told me. So Nico, world champion in 2016. And then retired straight after because he couldn't take the heat. Fair. Uh, and then Keke was 1982 world champion. Only won one race all year and still managed to win a championship. What? Yeah, it was so competitive well, back then. Uh, like, most races were won by different drivers and cars just blew up all the time. <laughs> Literally, it's just like they could have a flawless race, be dominating for 58 laps, and the car would just blow up and that's it. Really like the pack art. That's how I would create a pack if I was... It does look like it's made on word art. Yeah, that's all I've got in my That's locker. just probably all they had back then. Every card's a winner, Ryan. Did you know that? Oh, you just imagine it, can't you? Mum, can I go to the shop in 1991 and buy some vintage dream cards? Well, they wouldn't have been vintage then, would they? They were no. brand new. A LaRousse. Delara. Hey there, Del Minardi. So Minardi are now... Racing Bulls, I think. Excuse me. Racing Bulls. So Minardi were bought out by Toro Rosso. Love Toro Rosso. They are the uh, sister Red Bull team. Yes. The backup Red Bull team, basically. The B team. Frost. Yeah. Another Senna. I think that's a duplicate, but we'll get it sleeved. Another Senna as well. That's a duplicate. And Alan Prost. So the, the cars do look like they're from numerous years. Because they, they don't all look like the same season. The main thing is, John, are you enjoying opening this product? I am. I, this is just a, it's an education more than anything for me because it's filling in some of the gaps of drivers I don't know, like those two, because I have no the, idea who they are. The Man Talking has 30 years of F1 DVDs with all the races, all the seasons. From years? 70 through to present day. Yeah. So more than 30. So you years. know a lot. I haven't watched them all. I'm only up to 83 because they're like three hours a piece. But... Yeah, like I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning as much as I can. Senna again. Sorry on the sleeves, Brigo. Oh, hang on. There we go. That's a cleaner Senna. In comparison to the first one, yeah. So luckily, it does seem to be just that first pack where we saw that. I mean, don't get me wrong. The cards aren't in general in the greatest shape. How's your, uh, <laughs> how's your pack count going? What have you got? About 45 left? There are, uh, there are a lot of packs. Leighton Houses again. It's nice, it's nice to have something. Back when Lamborghini were in Formula One. You can never imagine that now. Why are they not in it now? When is it Porsche? They were never any good. Porsche uh, coming in. Porsche not coming in. No, oh, not. Audi. Audi, that's it. Yeah, Audi are taking over Sauber. Hmm. A couple of not yet. So they are from different years because you've got two Nigel Mansell cars in the same pack. So you've got them driving for Williams on the left and Ferrari on the right. Now, I always thought Nigel Mansell was a goalkeeper for the England football team. You're thinking of Peter Shilton? Yep. Or David Seymour? Or, or someone completely different. And a football goalkeeper, basically. Nigel Mansell. The cards just Sorry. look so much better. Um, the cards, the cards. Oh, uh, there you go. Martin Brundle. So he's the guy that does oh, yeah. all the commentary yeah. on Formula yeah. 1 now. So he was, he got a few podiums. He drove in Formula 3 with Senna. And was just as quick as him, but they got to Formula One and it just yeah, was wow. it nowhere near? So he could have been. Could have been good. Could have, should have. He got lots of podiums, but never won a race. 
Bertrand Gasho, Prost in a says, Ferrari. All far and no poo. That's what you say. <laughs> I didn't mean that to insult him, Mr. Martin Brundle. Is he the guy that goes up the escalators and you think about the escalators? Sports. He's, he's the one that does the track walk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, basically, Tom celebrities who come who've got no idea about Formula One are like, no, I don't want to speak to you. And then they oh, get, get off the grid, grid then. Uh, yeah. So there's been many of those, uh, many of those embarrassing moments. These cards are absolutely covered in. You can see it. It's crap. like they've got dandruff. They have, but they are old. So Benetton, Capelli, Nelson Piquet. Lotus, Barbatsa. Oh, an old Senna card. So that was his first team. Tolman in 84. Tolman. Oh. Right, this is a different one. Oh, no, hang on. It just looks different because it's a different thing. That's France. Well, Ron, you picked up a lot of Senna cards. I have. We've just picked up another one. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Eric Van der Perler. Van der Perler. Van der Perler. When I next year driver I recognise I've got a story about, I'll do story time, but at the moment, I'm just learning. So, what's your favourite ever F1 team? I think it's Ferrari. Yeah. So they're, Ferrari, everyone is a Ferrari fan. If they like Formula 1, everyone wants them to do well secretly. I remember Schumacher. Yeah. Ferrari. Uh, but other teams, um, Lotus, about when they were in it, they're not in it anymore. Do you want to hear a funny story about Lotus? Go on then. So, story time. Story time. Uh, it was quite recently, actually, back in the early 2010s. I've got a Nicky Lauda card in there. It's nice. This is basically a podcast. It is. It's a Formula One podcast. Over. So, Lotus came back into the sport and they bought back. They wanted a premier driver and then they wanted someone to just basically make up the ranks. So, they signed Kimi Raikkonen. Mm. And now, they weren't expected to do any good that year. So Raikkonen basically got written into his contract that he would get a certain amount of money for every point he scored. <laughs> Bearing in mind they were basically thinking they would score points at three or four races. He won two races and finished on the podium like nine or ten times. Lotus went bankrupt and they still owe Raikkonen that money to this day. <laughs> That's hilarious. A couple of Senna cards. But yeah, so do you know the show, if any UK viewers can't pay, we'll take it away. <laughs> they went to Lotus. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, they still owe Riken in that money. That is a shout. Uh, if you haven't watched Can't Play, take it away. How much did how much did they owe us? Oh, uh, I I don't actually know the figure, but I know it was an insane. I, I know that wasn't that was just a part of the reason. They were going bankrupt anyway, they were absolutely you know, but he did he didn't help the situation. He what? didn't bankrupt them solely. Plenty of Senna cards There's here. No we are going to be running into some duplicate. Yeah, don't don't worry about sleeving them now. Just no. stack them up and I'll sort them out after. Cool. Save save our sleeves, save the hands. Because hopefully, what I'm going to get is enough to put a set together, and then enough as well to just stick I them in my Senna. Senna box. Senna box. We will be opening uh, 23 Chrome for Formula One against my better judgment. I was going to give it a miss this year. But I am going to give it a go. But he gave in because he's a heathen. I am a heathen. And Senna's in Topps Chrome for the first time. Oh no. So hopefully they don't. He's basically in a blank red suit. But it's oh. still cool. Okay. Tambe and Monza. So we've only found one Hacken and Rookie so far. But I'm very happy with the amount of Senna cards we've Does found. Does it say Rookie on it? No. No, that's but just... That is... That is the first trading card printed with Mika Hacken. It on. does. It says Rookie on the back. Yeah, 1991 rookie year. Oh, right. But yeah, it's, it's not like um, modern cards where it'll have a rookie oh, emblem oh, yeah, or in the corner yeah, or anything. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it, it wasn't that popular back then. You know, people just opened it. He'd make a good bomb. He, he looks like he'd make a good bomb. Oh, well, Hakkinen, yeah. Mm. The name's Bond. Mika Hakkinen Mika Bond. There's a lot of turning these cards here. Well, Patrese. That's what you get on the track. Medina. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Cold enough? Mm. Oh, ice cold? No. Okay, cool. Lots of engine cards, but that to me, unless you look out for like the brands and stuff, they all look the same. Oh, <laughs> yes, look at all these engines that blew up. <laughs> oh, dear. Prost. Some of these cards are absolutely beautiful. They're so what nice do you think set. of this year's F1? 
Anything different with the cars? Because obviously I haven't watched it. So F1's in a bit of a state at the moment on the basis that they've put a salary cap in. Right. And in, in my view, we're in a new league of dominance now where Mercedes would be dominating for years but there would always be a chance that someone else could win a race and there would always be two drivers in the Mercedes that could both win a race. Now we're into a new league of dominance where every race last year there was 22 or 23 races. Right. Perez won two, mm-hmm. Sainz won one, mm-hmm. Verstappen won the rest of them. That's just not fun. And Red Bull are just, are just too quick. And what I think it is now is the other teams can't get close because they can't spend any more money. Got you. Well, I remember that a while thing. ago when... Red Bull dominated. No, I Red Bull. Vettel and um, what's his name? Webber. Yeah, they just dominated. They did. And then obviously Hamilton came into it. And he started winning, and now he's just not. No. But he's had his time. He's he has time. had his time. I'm not saying you know Red Bull have clearly got the best car and everything, but what what makes it just even more atrocious is I just can't stand the way they operate. It's like the ever since they have screwed the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. It's just, You'll have to tell us about that. I I'm have. Not sure. I've, t- I've told. Yeah. Uh, long story short. Um, so the the title went down to the wire. They both had. I think I remember the points total. Both Hamilton oh, and Verstappen this. had three hundred and sixty nine and a half points each going into the last race. It was basically whoever wins the race wins the title. Hamilton dominated the race. He was quicker. He just he, he deserved it in my mind. They were I think they were both worthy champions, but based off what happened, he deserved to win the race. Then a Williams driver crashed. They then did a safety car to obviously clear up all the wreckage, which bunches all the pack up. Now Hamilton had just been, he was seconds in front, he wouldn't bother pitting, he was on older tires. When you pit under a safety car, it doesn't cost you anything. You pit, you then allowed to catch back up. Verstappen was far enough ahead of third to not lose second. So the race would have restarted with Verstappen on fresh tyres. Now that's not a problem. But what they did was it was only two laps before the end and the race should have finished under the safety car. Yeah. The FIA, basically you have a rule where all lapped cars can unlap themselves. They only let the cars between Hamilton and Verstappen unlap themselves and they restarted the race for one lap to go. Rather than everyone else. Yeah, so the race should have finished under the safety car, and they just let, they said, cars, this, 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 and this, can unlock themselves, and they just went green flag. And just happened over took him and won. Because <laughs> of clear space. Not being funny, not for Stappen's fault, but I think Red Bull were on the blower saying, come on, we need to get this race underway now. And the FIA just caved. So we, yes, it was entertaining, but it's that's not the sport. That's not the rules. The rules were just bent to make it entertaining. And uh, ever since then, it's just been very sour. Sour. Right. Sour. See, I don't know many people that like Max Verstappen. No. Because... Oh, yeah, no. From what I've heard. You're not a big fan, are you? I hate him. <laughs> Hate's a strong word. I hate Dislike. him. No, I hate him. 11 packs left. You would reject his friendship. Yes. I would. Well, mate, at work looks a bit like him, doesn't it? He does, yeah. We keep calling him Max. It's not very, it doesn't make him very happy. <laughs> right, so this is the first time we've actually got a checklist card in here. Hey, so there is actually only, oh, 100 cards in the set. So you'd hope we well, can you complete get, this. You've got 360 in this box, then you should be good. Yeah, you'd hope so. If not, you might need five, one or two. We've got two checklist cards in this pack. <laughs> is there, it's not a two-part checklist, is it? Yes, it is. There's 200 cards. But in I will set. be comparing the Hacken and Rookie. There's 200 cards in the set. Oh, is there? There's a second one. Let's have a look. Oh. 101 to 150 and 151 to 200. <laughs> we might not do the set then. You I don't know. know. That. I don't know, but let's You've have a look. You've got a chance and a half. These, um, as I said, these really aren't the. You know, don't expect to go and find. Oh, I found a box of this. You know, we're going to pull mega money. You won't. Um, Hakkonen is the most expensive card. A couple of the centers, if you can get them in a 10, which is looking very unlikely with the state of these. <laughs> Cards 97 to 100 are all ahead, sir. Yeah. Uh, there'll be, there's loads. There's loads more. <laughs> there are loads more. Benetton, AGS, and Moreno. But I will be comparing the Hakkonen we've pulled to the one I've got in my rookie collection. I'll so put you've the, got this card? I have that card, yeah. We'll put the worst condition one in the binder. 
Very nice. And then save the uh, save the nice rookie. Can you grade them? No, I've gone off grading. I, I just like to keep this stuff. If I know it's going to increase the value massively, but you wouldn't grade these because like a, a gem min 10 hack and then probably 40, 50 quid, something like that. And with postage to the States with it And being... the grading cost. <laughs> it's another shafted center yes. card. Oh my God. You know, oh my God. You know that card we pulled off camera last night? Um, the metal, yeah, comic covers of... Avengers. One of them, there's a corner, looks like Pac Man took a bite out of it. Mm. Oh my God, my God. That's a shame. I'm gonna just give these the benefit of the doubt because it's a combination of two things their age and the fact that these were released in a day where no one really no. thought they would become collectible. No one really thought grading would exist. Although I don't know how long PSA have been around. I Let us know in the comments if you know. If you know. And if you haven't already, a like and a subscribe are greatly appreciated. But yeah, maybe we will, um, I'll do an update post or something. Oh, that's another Hakkinen. That is another, another Hakkinen. Same one? Yep. Yeah, so there's only one Hakkinen rookie in the set. Oh. So, mm -hmm. it's in our interest to pull. If you would like a Hakkinen rookie for yourself, there'll definitely be one available on our eBay shop. Um, even if we've got two clean conditions, I will put the worst one in the binder, so... You are more than welcome to come and have a look. Is it number 26? I think so, yeah. Uh, 26. Yes. So I think there is only one Hakkinen. Unless there's a unless there's a car rookie. Sorry, what I said earlier, cards 97 to 100 are all center. <laughs> I correct myself. There's cards a lot more. Cards 97 to 107. And then 108 to 120 are all Prost. 121 to 131 are all Mansell. Yeah, this will be very, very cool when it's all put together. So if you're still here, guys, I appreciate you uh, hanging on. I know there's not a lot of variation in these packs, but hopefully some of the stories and some of the information, if anyone's looking to get a box of these themselves to... Go down yeah. for nostalgia. Sorry, it's PSA uh, Professional Sport Authenticator. Yes. That's what it for. They were established in July 1991. Oh, God, same year as these were released. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're correct. There's only one. We need to have that. That's why he said it twice. I was just double checking. Mm -hmm. That's not, I didn't believe him. Only messing. Right, our last four packs. Thank you. That's it. Gone that quick. Rapid. Yep. Rapid fire. As I say, there's, it's only a 200 card base set, so there will be a lot of duplicates. If you'd like any of the base cards, anything that takes your fancy, please get in touch with us. We can more Instagram, than happily... TikTok. Yeah, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, YouTube here. You name it. You get in touch with us, we can... eBay. Message yeah. anywhere. Help you out. Three packs left. It'd be nice to get another hack in them. No, I'd like to see. What's that? Uh... An autograph Senna card, if you can just pull one out. No, I do have his autograph. Um, it's a signed program. Bit of a flex. It is a flex, yeah. It's not the it's not the nicest, but as you can imagine, it's very hard to get hold of because uh, he's not signing anymore. Bless him. Yeah, pull one out. Right. And I suppose driving around in that car, the, how he signed that the amount of track, that's pretty impressive. Didn't sign and drive. Sign, never sign and drive, kids. These cars need a clean. <laughs> well. It's a good job we know someone that cleans cars. We do know yeah, someone. Yeah, go check out uh, Collectibles. Collectibles, yeah. A guy named Josh runs it. He's a, he's a lovely guy. Oh. Product's amazing. Go check them out on Instagram. We will leave their links in the description. Yeah, nice shout. And uh, I think... The, some of the nicer Senna cards I think we'll be using his um, product on. Literally. Cleaning them spray, up a bit. Wipe, wipe clean. Spray and wipe clean. Done. Beautiful. Last pack. Let's just scroll through this one. Mm. See if there's anything interesting in here. Any more Senna cards. Right. We'll do the last story time. Shall we? <laughs> Yay. Eric Comas. <laughs> so. Yay. Where's he from? Um, I don't actually know. I don't actually know much about Eric Comas. I just know what happens with him. So. This shows Senna's lighter side. Komas was driving at Suzuka, massive crash, knocked him unconscious, and his foot was just planted on the accelerator. Cars drove past, ignoring him. Senna drove past, 
heard that basically he was just gonna mm -hmm. either like yeah. blow the engine up and really hurt himself or, or just you know or just saw he was unconscious he stopped his car got out and got eric out and resuscitated him what senna was senna stuff, yeah Stop that. Fair play. hero but yes he also did some very questionable things <laughs> do you want to know my racing hero uh, Lightning McQueen. Nice. Uh, Good show. <laughs> we right. know the story. We have base cards everywhere. We managed to pull two Hakkonen's, which I will have a good look at. That's really, um, really high. But yeah, and sure that was two more than I thought we'd pull, to Fair. be honest. Yeah. yeah, there's quite a hard card to pull, apparently. Um, and yeah, loads of Senna's, which I'll, uh, I'll go through. We'll get some pictures up on Instagram. Lovely. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching and hanging in there. I know it was a long video. Uh, You've been watching. Vroom. <laughs> Vroom. But yeah, this stuff's cheap. If you want to pick yourself up a nice base set and have a gamble with some very weirdly conditioned cards, go for it. But until next time, guys, uh, drop us a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you then. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>